mental scars produced by verbal whoopings. My mind's front lines were infiltrated by lies and a camouflage of truth. My youth back in central New Jersey has made me worthy of the title survivor because I survived. Jenny Krause was the woman responsible for bringing Project Eye to Eye to Wyoming. And looking back on what she's done, I would say watching the students when I'm in the classroom and watching how it's impacted the students and the mentors and the mentees just grow and the coordinators, it feels amazing. One out of every ten students has some sort of learning disability. One of the things that I kind of pride myself on is, is never forgetting how far I've come and that there are still a lot of young people who are in similar circumstances who don't get the support. Project Eye to Eye reaches out to those students and provides that support. They're mentoring these students, uh, doing different types of art projects, um, which really focus on a few main goals. Uh, the first being self-esteem. Uh, we want to boost children's self-esteem. Uh, we want to talk to them about how they learn. Uh, and then next we want to teach them how to advocate for themselves. And during that we want to create a community for LD students so they have this support system set up. During the symposium, one of the mentors shared his story. I had never been open about my learning disability all through high school. No one really knew. It's changed my life definitely forever. Um, I've gone from hiding it, my LD and ADHD, to being open about it, giving presentations to people all across Wyoming. Matthew Heron also grew up with a learning disability and today serves as a mentor here in Wyoming. I currently read right out about 7th grade level and 21 years old. So that's not the lack of education that I've had, it's just my disability. You know, one of the best best feelings you ever have, you know, because at the end of the day, you know you're, you, you know you at least touched one person. Each member of Project Eye to Eye has their own success story. And now from their own experiences, they'd like to share with you one last message. I would say that uh, first off, you're not alone. There's nothing wrong with you. We're going to help any student that we can, so we'll make it happen. You know, live your dreams. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't take no for an answer. Don't give up, just succeed. Don't let it hold you back from doing anything, because you can do anything. Reporting from Lander, I'm Xavier Walton, K2 News.